currently, we have the ability to assign a single category to each task. Sometimes, tasks will require more than one term to describe the item. The database defines a one-to-many relationship between tasks and categories. In order to allow multiple words to be attached to each task, we will need to add a tags table. Each tag will have a tag ID, as well as the label for a tag. Mark tag ID as a primary key, and an identity. We will need to add a many-to-many -many table called task tags in order to link multiple tags to each task. Each record in this table will be linked to a particular task by a task ID foreign key and linked to a particular tag via the tag ID foreign key. Let's drag task ID field onto the tasks table to form the foreign key connection. Let's drag tag ID onto the tags table Let's select both of the fields, right-click, and set it as a compound primary key. Let's refresh the project schema in order to pick up the new tables. Let's create models for our two new tables. First, let's start with tags. Let's sort the list of tags alphabetically by the tag field. Go ahead and save the model. Let's create a model for task tags. Go ahead and save the default model. We will need to add tags as a many-to-many -many field on the tasks form. Open the project designer. Switch to the controllers tab. Expand the tasks controller. Right click on the fields node and press new field. We will name this field tags. Change the item style to checkbox list. The source of items that will be displayed for the checkbox list will be the tags controller. We will allow users to create new tags using the view create form one from the tags controller. Specify the target controller of task tags. This will define the controller that will be read from and written to when the user makes any changes to this many-to-many -many field. Go ahead and save the new field. Let's bind this field to each view of tasks. This field has an indeterminate length, therefore, the number of rows is automatically configured to 5. We will not need this number of rows, so go ahead and clear the rows property. In addition, let's set the columns to 30. Let's position the tags data field right after category ID. Next, let's bind the tags field to the two form views. Create Form 1 and Edit Form 1. Let's add tags as a data field to Grid 1 and perform the same operations we did previously. 
First, add the data field, clear the rows property, and set columns to 30. Let's position this data field after category ID data field. Let's take a look at the new field that we added. Let's create a new task. Notice that the tags field is now visible at the bottom of the form. The table does not contain any records yet. We can use the create new checkbox to create a new tag. When the field is rendered in read-only mode, the values will be displayed as a comma-separated list. The checkbox list is a convenient option when there is a small list of values. If there is a large number of items, a basket-style lookup is a better solution. Switch back to the project designer. Double-click on the Tags field. Change the item style to drop down list. Autocomplete and lookup will operate in a basket mode as well. Save the field and regenerate the application. Let's create a new task. Notice that the Tags field is now rendered as a drop-down list. We can select an item from the list to include it to the list of tags. We can also type to search for a tag. If the tag does not exist, we can press Enter to create the tag in line. We can also use the Create New button to open the Tags Create form. Click on a tag to remove it from the list of tags. The option will remain in the global list of tags. Here is a task with category work. Instead of using the category, we can assign the tag work to this task. The category lookup has become redundant. Let's remove the category ID field and the categories table. Right click on category ID and press delete column. Right click on categories table and press delete tables from database. Let's refresh the project schema the refresh process will not remove any existing pages. We will need to open the project designer and remove the categories page. Right click on the page node in the project explorer and press delete. Let's go ahead and regenerate this project. The category field is no longer present in the grid. It is also not present in the form. We can now use tags as a suitable replacement for category.